Prince William returns to Naval College after 15 years training there. The Prince of Wales has many links to Britannia Royal Naval College at Dartmouth. On Thursday, the Prince of Wales, 41, attended the Lord High Admiral's Band Parade at Britannia Royal Naval College in Dartmouth, Devon, England, while Prince William made the trip to represent his father, King Charles. At the students' graduation ceremony, he also had a special connection to the college. Hello viewers, welcome to Royal Unlock, please subscribe to stay updated with all latest updates from the British royal family. William took part in a naval training course at the centre in 2008 for his multifaceted military education which included spells with the British Army and Royal Air Force. Not only is it common for future monarchs to train with various branches of their country's armed forces, 18-year-old Princess Leonor of Spain is currently enrolled in a similar program, but Prince William has also followed in the footsteps of his father and grandfather, the Prince. Philip teaches at Dartmouth. In a lovely twist of family history, the teenage Queen Elizabeth met her future husband at the Royal Naval College when she accompanied her father, King George VI to a parade there in 1939. Prince William was 25 when he began two months of training at Dartmouth, which was divided into training ashore with the Royal Navy and Royal Marines and a deployment at sea aboard HMS Iron Duke. While William had already graduated from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, he enjoyed a military parade there. In 2006 and rose to the rank of lieutenant in the British Army, he achieved the equivalent rank of second lieutenant during his days with the Royal Army. Navy In a statement announcing the training, the royal family said William would be known as Lieutenant General of Wales, using his father Charles' title at the time, the Prince of Wales, as his title. After King Charles ascended to the throne in September 2022, he appointed William as his heir and the new Prince of Wales. Today, William's three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, follow his example in the classroom and use Wales as their last name at school instead of their royal titles. William appeared in good spirits as he returned to the Royal Naval College in Dartmouth on Thursday, where he received the royal salute as more than 100 Royal Navy cadets and their international colleagues graduated. Dressed in service dress, the Princes of Wales wore the Royal Navy greatcoat, complete with hat and sword, later changing into the Royal Navy uniform number no. 1B featuring full-sized medals, a garter star, and an ornate gold cord known as aiguillettes. The latest appearance marked a significant debut as William wore the more formal Royal Navy uniform for the first time. In his speech after receiving the salute, the Prince of Wales said, It is a great honour for me, as Commander-in-Chief of Submarines, to be with you here at the BRNC, representing His Majesty the King in the Lord High Admiral's teams. He continued, jokingly referring to the weather, just to put your minds at ease, I know very well how cold it can be to stand still on an outdoor show floor, so my promise to you is that I will keep it that way. That's in short, allowing you to pass through those grand doors and enter your hard-earned celebrations. While my cortege was at Sandhurst, Britannia Royal Naval College still holds a very special place in my heart. My grandmother and grandfather are known to have met here, while my great-grandfather, King George VI, carried out these very duties, William said, referring to the story. The beautiful story of how his grandmother, then known as Princess Elizabeth, met Prince Philip. Thanks for watching till the end.